This playthrough is rated E10+. Plus. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow me back here with the final episode, or finale, of Sly 4. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in one episode or multiple, but we'll get to it today. We're back in Paris after all of our time-traveling things, and unfortunately, Carmelita is, has been kidnapped by uh, the Paradox. Must have done something nefarious to knock her out, because she's like, you know, she's the cop character. But, uh, yeah, yeah, a blow to the back of the head will knock anyone out, so... Anyway, we've gotten all the secrets we can, except for the two in the final area. We've done the machine thing. We've collected all the outfits. We've done all the treasures. Uh, we've collected all that. Um, and I've also bought everything on ThiefNet. So, as you can see here. So, Sly stuff's all been bought. Murray stuff's all been bought, as you can see here. Not that I'm really going to utilize half of it, but hey, it's there anyway. And then Bentley stuff's all been bought. Yeah, a lot of stuff that can be bought. Most of it is, like, improvements on um, life stuff, but uh, still. Anyway, let's start the final mission off and defeat the Paradox and restore time back to the way it was and put this skunk in jail or wherever this guy's going to go. Yeah, unfortunately, the Paradox is probably the weakest out of all the villains, I think, just because... I don't know, even though he, like, you know, foils us and does all this time stuff, the, really his own, only motivation is that he was a, he was part of a family of thieves that was competitive against the Coopers, and, it, you know, they explained it last episode, like, why? And I'm like, well, that's kind of weak. <laughs> Shouldn't they have, like, I think it, it would have been better if the Paradox had been, uh, his family had been, like, part of the story, like, in, like, behind, the, well, maybe not behind the scenes, but, like, in previous games, like, it would have been mentioned or something like that. But it's only brought up in this game specifically, which I guess makes sense. It just, I don't know, it's just kind of like, oh, okay, here's a villain out of nowhere. All right, we all know this is our last shot at stopping La Paradox and rescuing Carmelita. Currently, his blimp is docked outside the museum. I can't pinpoint Carmelita's exact position, but I believe she's being held somewhere near the loading bay. Sly, there appears to be a utility hatch on the blimp's underside that will get you inside. You can use one of the mooring lines to reach it. Once you're in, try to gather as much information as you can. But remember, we'll be right behind you, so don't do anything rash. Murray, I need you to get the van ready. We're gonna need backup for this one. So first, you and I are going on a little recruiting trip. Then we'll rendezvous with Sly inside the blimp and figure out our next move. Okay, I realize it's not the most elaborate plan, but it's the best we've got. So everybody watch your backs and let's go take that skunk down once and for all. Okay, Bentley, I'm in. I can see Carmelita. Just hold on, Sly, we're almost there. You know it's a setup. I know, pal. But I don't have a choice. Just get here as fast as you can. Yeah, but at least the characters know it's a trap and not just like, oh, there she is, let's get her. <coughs> get her, Ray! Oh, wait. Alright, what, what what are you gonna do with Paradox? Carmelita! Fly! No! Two hearts in one trap! I knew you could not resist, Cooper! You are so predictable. Oh yeah? Well, how's this for a prediction? I'm gonna kick that stripe right off your tail. Yes, yes, and now come the big threats from the little man. As I said, predictable. Let us out! You afraid of a fair fight, coward? No, 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 I don't think so. I have something special planned for you too. It is, how do you say, a going away party. Okay, listen up. You all know why you're here. We have to find your canes and get you back where you belong now. If we don't, we'll never be able to repair the damage La Paradox has done. What about Sly? He's on his own for now, Murray, but I'm sure he'll be fine. It's Sly. Ryuichi, you're up first. My readings show your cane is somewhere in this room. I can sense it too, Bentley-san. And yet, yeah, like all good uh, time travel stories, uh, if, if it works like that, we bring back all the characters that we ran across before to help us with the final mission. 
I wonder why, uh, although it's kind of weird to see everyone just sitting there waiting for me to get job, uh, done. Like, can't we all, like, platform and everything? Uh, I guess you can kind of see uh, some of their idle animations. That's kind of neat. Anyway, uh, I think Ryuichi's uh, secret is... Uh, yeah, spoopy. It's either in this room or the next room, I think. Uh, well, anyway, let's keep going before... Oh, right. <laughs> it had been so long since I played Ryuichi, I almost forgot how his abilities worked. All right, where's the? There we go. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't believe I forgot how it worked there for a second. I was like, wait, what am I supposed to do here? I was like, all oh, right. I think, uh, yeah, I think we have to get to the next area before I can get this secret. Alright, well, we each is gonna take. Oh, I guess he's helping. What about everyone else? Is everyone else helping here? I guess. I don't think I have to do anything specific. I think I just have to fight these guys off. It is my pleasure, my most hairy ancestor. I assume everyone's going to get some time to shine during this final bit, otherwise it would be kind of a silly... <laughs> I actually didn't mean to do that. I didn't notice the, the, the hole there, so I think I have to uh, see if I can get over there. But yeah, the secret's uh, just right over here. <coughs> Oops, almost missed it. Alright, the last one is uh, not too... Oops. Maybe it'll start me back up at the beginning. I wanted to mess with it. Because luckily it auto collects it. Yeah, so. Anyway, the last mission is when we play as Tennessee. Which spoilers are going to play as all the characters during the finale, so. Now, if only I don't mess up during this. Don't get killed by exhaust. Oh, no. <coughs> okay. I, I was like, I almost jumped into the. Uh, into it, so. Oh, I have to. Get that. Oh no! Dang it! That was my bad. I really need to, I really need to calm down and just do this. I don't know why I'm like trying to rush it. I have all the time in the world. I have a time machine. <laughs> yeah, I knew I was gonna use that reference. Some, actually, I might have used that reference earlier in the, the game, but didn't, didn't, don't remember it. If I can just, okay, I can't just jump from there. Sorry, I'm having weird issues with the camera, and I don't think it's the controller. I think it's just me forgetting the, the camera movement, or my controller could be wearing out, but anyway, let's uh, grab the camera. Yes, I sense it is my time to go. It has been an honor meeting all of you. Sayonara. It's working! The temporal abnormality is correcting itself! Bob, we need you to get Salim's cave. Alright, time for Caveman Bob to take the reins. Was that just me or was that kind of anticlimactic that even though, you know, Ryuichi got his canes, he kind of just disappears? I would... I mean, I know what happens because I've played the game before. It's just, I feel like the final section where we have uh, play as all the characters again was kind of, well, I don't know if I should crap on it before we beat the game, but it seemed a bit lackluster. You know, like maybe they should have all been involved in a, a couple of extra scenes before they disappeared, maybe, or maybe they just, or maybe the twist is they disappear as they're trying to help in a major situation. They're like, oh no, the time has fixed itself or something. Then that would have been more almost dramatic. Like, well, he's okay, but no more help from him or something like that. I'm oh, sorry if I'm talking over the uh, character dialogue. Oops. I guess I wasn't fast enough because didn't it just disappear? Like the uh, the uh, ice, uh, the jet nozzle or whatever. It must have reformed pretty quickly. Yeah, Murray, help us with the canes. You're only you're only one of the major characters in this group, so 
you know. Oh wow, they go. I Maybe mean, I was supposed to jump or something like that, or slide. What was the ability to slide again? At least I, th I thought you could uh, slide down the the ice faster. Cause yeah, you s did you see that Spiga like immediately like respawn, like right after it disappeared. I think I could just yeah. Just, I mean that's probably not what I was supposed to do, but it's just it was just faster to me to just jump. Jump right over it. Actually, I'm kind of surprised the Paradox only has these platforming puzzles to stop us because you'd think him knowing about the Cooper family to an extent. I mean, he's not an expert on us, but he knows just enough, enough about us. He's like, dude, we're a family of platformers. We know what we're doing, yo. Outstanding, Bob. Looks like you're heading home now. Watch out for those penguins. This is going well, but we're not out of the woods yet. All right, more violence. But yeah, like I said, I, I feel like there should have been something more. Like, I know we use their abilities for the finale. It's just, I don't know. Like, I think maybe they had to rush the final section or something. Salim, you're the only one who can reach Dallas Cade. Forsooth, I would entrust this to no other. Oh, again with the climbing? Get going, Celine. Oh, wait. We've got some oh, right, you had your cane before. <clears throat> yeah, Celine being the oldest one, he's like, I don't want to keep working. What are you, what are you up to, Paradox? Celine, no time for napping. Oh. We need to step it up. I thought I thought the uh for some reason I thought the chain was gonna break. I was so used to breaking on his uh on his section, so the fact that it didn't break surprised me. Yeah, getting the oldest oldest Cooper out of all of them to, to keep platforming. He's like, dude, I'm old, I need to retire at some point. Whoa! Just noticed all the spigots going off at once. I'm like, no, I should have sped it up. Got some planning to do, yes. Excellent. What? Yeah, too bad. Uh, too bad if if you die, they re they re um, say the dialogue, even though like we already we've already heard it before. But yeah, whatever. It's not, it's not big of a deal. All right. All right there's Ga Galus King. Retirement. I salute your excellence, Sir Salim. All right, now that we got Mr. Cranky Pants home safely, we need to press on. Gallop, we need your skills to get Tennessee's cave. Verily shall it be in thine command, hence and forthwith. Uh, you talk funnier than a two-headed jackalope, but thanks, amigo. Kind of funny, the the, the Western man commenting on ye old English. So, intently Galith is not speaking ye old English. Because if it was actually ye old English, we would not understand what the heck he was saying. You should look, if, if you're ever interested, you should look up actual ye old English. It is... It is something to, to behold. It's it's basically a whole other language. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to destroy this. Oh, now as I say that, Bentley Bentley describes destroying the fuses. I'm like, anyway, it's uh, it's just as easy as that. No, I, I could have dropped off, but I forgot. <laughs> didn't press the button in time. And wait for this one. Enough twaddle and gobbledygook. Time for action. I mean, I guess I guess I'm fine with uh, with the Coopers not staying around for the rest of the the battle. It's just I don't know, man. I just I feel like there could have been something more. Like maybe, like I was saying before, before the other cutscene, I feel like maybe they 
Oh yeah, they probably is insulting Paradox and everything like that. Um, I feel like maybe the scene was like, maybe they wanted to be longer and have the ancestors do more than just the platforming bits. But, uh, but yeah, it never, never came up like that. I, maybe it was a, just a, a programming decision for like flow of the final battle, like it shouldn't have lasted forever. I don't know why, just, uh, like, it doesn't seem as epic as, like, the clockwork fight, or the cl new clockwork fight, or, <laughs> or the, um, or the fight in the third game. Like, I don't know, I feel like those were a bit longer and more epic. Even though they're probably the same length, but... Indeed. Once more unto the breach go I. Fare thee well, you all! More vermin dead ahead! Oh well, I, I'm, I'm sorry for like, kind of... Uh, like, I should critique the game at the end when I'm playing, when I'm watching the credits, then just during the gameplay. It makes me feel like I don't like this game or something like that. Um, and it seems kind of rude to do that. are completely out of our reach. Tennessee, this looks like a job for you. Just what I was hoping for, Bentley. I've been itching to get in on the action, too. All right, get to play the cowboy himself. Uh, this is the, the last secret of the game is in here. Should be passed. Uh, this is more fun than square dance. Yeah, sorry, the control, uh, the, I keep mixing up the control, the camera controls for some reason. It should be, whoa! Have a nice something wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to climb something. Five, oh, there. Three, I thought I already hit that. One, four, two, huh. Okay, never mind then, folks. Five, that was weird. I don't know why. And there's the final secret right there. Hooray! We're 100% of this game for the most part. All right, before we continue on, let me show what we have for the secrets. Unlocked, we've already... Uh, I think we've got most of the cinematics except for the final final bit. Uh, yeah, the final cutscenes right there. Um, yeah, you can look at all the... I think we're done. I think all the... Yeah, I was about to say all the chalk talks would be... So on the unlockables here, we, get, we can either do... Monkey Paraglider, which is basically the Sanzuro theme, the the guys who made the game. Uh, Camo Paraglider. Um, then we can change each of the characters into their ult ultra outfits or whatever. So let's go ahead and turn those on. Um, Sly owns the Darkest Knight in this costume. Cloaked in shadow, he's a tireless force for justice. And Pinky Pockets. Ultimate Bentley. They say you can't judge a book by its cover, but in this outfit, you know Bentley will reign supreme and execute some code. Ultimate Murray. Murray has always been special, but in this gear, he's gonna he's gone spec special ops. His tactics are simple but effective. Never fight on an empty stomach. Uh, Ultimate Carmelia. I don't know if it'll show her outfit or not, but uh, when Carmelia dons the uniform of the elite law enforcement, criminals everywhere quake with fear. Not to mention the black is always in style. You know what you're doing, game designers. Oh yeah, and we can unlock a uh, Ratchet's wrench from uh, the Ratchet and Clank series, an homage to uh, that series, and then Cole's amp, which is well, let's let's read the Ratchet. Wrench for a large wrench of unknown origin. Some even say is not of this earth. While well, useful for ratcheting bolts, even better for smacking up enemies. Clank, and then Cole's uh, amp. Uh, Cole is the, the the sucker punch went on to do. I think Infamous was the very next game after the Sly series ended, and that's his weapon. Is it's kind of like a weird. It kind of looks like a wrench, but it's more like a like a amp pipe to amp up his uh, electrical abilities. A weapon so shocking it might be called Infamous. Bust this out when you want to zap your enemies or just make fun, uh, make your first hand. And so let's equip to, I don't think you, yeah, I was about to say you can only equip one or the other. 
Um, let's show off the monkey paraglider when we get to it, because spoilers will uh, play as a uh, sly uh, here for the final bit. So it's going to lock all that. So all right. Anyway, let's uh, continue on. Whoops. Um, and finish this game. So. Danger. Oh, Wee. Attention. Initiate safe backup in three, two. Backup failed. Alright. Is that the only switch? Huh. Attention. Thought there would be more. I guess I could switch hit it without using the ability or whatever. Those platforms appear to be on some kind of timer. You'd better move it. Uh-huh. That's right. The kid is back in business. Back in business, huh? Hurry, when were you out of business? All up to you now. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Ah! <laughs> should have uh, maybe should have slowed down time when when uh, when we were trying to hit that other switch. Oops. Hopefully that power comes back before. Uh... Okay. Hurry, Tennessee! It's all up to you now. What are you doing? You rats are gone. What if I have to hit? No, I guess I can. the one. I guess it's giving me enough ability to uh, get there before it. platformers change. Whoa! Pay attention, Tennessee. You need to figure out that block sequence. Reckon I ought to break out the old crack shot here. So we have uh, at least uh, at least Tennessee's a. I guess I could have uh, used my ability to hit them effectively. Oh, we had to. Oh, is it a timer on each one? Or? Okay. I wonder if it. Uh, whoops! Ah, no! Dang it! I didn't mean to do that. Ah, dang it! it <laughs> I'm, it's because of the. Oh, I did do it right. Never mind then. Um, still. Oh, you you have like a really short time. Ah, no, that's not what I want. Dang it! The camera control is like messing me up big time. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Ah uh, no! That's not. It's because left and right are the same, but the the regular camera is inverted, so it's messing me up. So <laughs> I will probably have to do this again because I actually wasn't paying attention to the, this one because I was looking at the controller. Whoops! Sorry, folks. For those who are watching, are like, what's wrong with you? I'm sorry. There we go. I'll go squirt. I've wasted so much time, so I'm probably not even gonna. Or I did it. I am thinking to be together forever. Just think of it as the most romantic coffin ever. <laughs> Don't count on it, Le Paradox. We've beaten all your other plans. Ah, but not this time, I think. Look at this my marvelous contraption the time tunnel. Something else I had your little friend Penelope develop before her unfortunate failure. Is very much like the time machine, no? With one important difference. From here, I have the control over where you go. And it's programmed to send you and your Interpol shrew on an endless honeymoon. Free of charge. Bouncing through time for all eternity. That's if you survive the trip. But either way, I will never have to see your irritating faces again. You think this thing can hold me? Just wait until I get out of here. Why'd you do it, La Paradox? Why the ancestors? Why not just come after me? What's the deal? The deal? The deal is you, Coopers. You destroyed my father, and you almost got me. But not quite. And when I rebuilt myself, I swore I would erase the Cooper name from history completely. 
And so today, my revenge will be complete. It is time now for you to go. Bon voyage! Fly! Look are you filthy vermin! Ooh, wait! Cut that closer than a ten dollar shave! Reckon my time here is up. Take care, Tennessee! I will crush you! this fight here and now for the whole Cooper clan and I'm the only one who could glide out of here this whole blimp could disappear any second right so there's no time to argue just go Sai, I I know me too all right fi I'll final play. battle against paradox I will teach you to fight like a gentleman. and how would you know I'm going to save that Cooper tongue for last. Okay, so we see what the wrench looks like here, just to kind of just show what it looks like. Yeah, I guess because we're not, um, because it's not an actual scene where we get to play as Murray and Bentley, it didn't actually change them to their, uh, actual outfits. So, oh well. Let's, uh, switch to, uh, Cole's amp. Yeah, I've got to wait for the game to load, load the, um, item into it. Yeah, the secrets aren't anything crazy, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Are we just gonna chase chase after you, you skunk? Act like a man, or a cooper, or whatever. Get back here. Why are you platforming like this? Are we gonna... Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, that could have been just me, but this game has had some minor issues with, like, uh, recognizing certain jump points. It hasn't been too bad to where it's like frustrated, but there have been a few times where I've died where I clearly do I hit the thing. Oh, we swapped our cane back to normal. Yeah, final battle is a QTE event. How fun. Don't you love those things? Oh well. I'll, I'll let the story play out, so I don't want to... Well, at least the um... hey, lucky break, Cooper. You'll be lucky if I only break your neck. Come on. I'm waiting for you. At least at least the QTE in this isn't too heinous. Like it, it's pretty forgiving. Like uh, unlike other games where it's just like we have to like hit exactly every time and it doesn't give you any like delay. Just lost his temper. <laughs> And I'm not talking because I'm trying to concentrate or anything like that. I'm just, if there's like any dialogue, I kind of want to, like, have it. Why don't you come over here and take it? There is something wrong with this stupid sword. After the Coopers because of what happened to your father? No, you imbecile. I came after the Coopers to prove that Le Paradox is the greatest thief who has ever lived. Is there any doubt? Ask yourself this. If the Coopers were truly the greatest thieves in history, and I have stolen their most valued possessions, then what does that make me? 
Um, an idiot? You had it made. You could have been the biggest thief of all time, but you had to target my ancestors and blow your own cover. You exposed your operation because of your ego. No Cooper would have done that. And for the record, can you really say you stole the canes? Seems like your friends did all the real work. Enjoy your words, Cooper. Because they will be your last. I tire of this charade, Cooper. There's just no point. Sure there is. It's right there on top of your head. I'm gone. Blasted imbecile! I'll run you through! Now, now, think of your blood pressure, Cyril. Okay, so you mess up once and, and you have to redo the whole thing? Okay, boo! I didn't even press it fast enough. Okay, whatever. Not the one who's going down. That that was that was kind of bull. <laughs> I'll admit. I was like, really? I didn't press that circle button just fast enough. I mean, it's not that it's not that terrible. It's just I just want to bring up the fact that I had to redo it because I wasn't just that fast enough for pressing the circle button. Cooper. Just please help me. Why should I? I do not wish to die. I guess you won't be doing any harm from a prison cell. As I said, so predictable. You won't get away with this. I'll find you. Au contraire, Sly Cooper. I do not think we will meet again. It's been a while since that night, but there's still no sign of Sly. Or that cursed blimp. The skunk could barely tread water. So by the time they picked him up, he was happy to see them. Word is he earned a special cell in solitary confinement, where the only thing he'll be collecting from now on is gray hair. Both Paris and the Thievius Raccoons were back to normal, but that hardly made us feel any better. At first, we just waited, assuming Sly would show up the way he always did. But as the days stretched into weeks, we had to face the fact that he was truly lost. We've stopped talking about it all the time, but I know it's all we're thinking about, even if we show it in different ways. Murray seems like his usual cheerful self, but I can tell there's a new level of seriousness underneath it all. He's on the professional wrestling circuit now, and he's really been pushing himself. I know he's doing it to keep his fighting skills sharp. Like all of us, he wants to be ready for action the minute we locate Sly. Carmelita returned to Interpol, where she threw herself into her work, busting criminals at a record pace. She's been so busy, I haven't seen her for a while now. My sources tell me she's conducting her own investigation into Sly's whereabouts. Out of everyone, I think she took his disappearance the hardest. Even if she never shows it. At least not in public. As for myself, I continue to search. Even using all my technology, I haven't found a clue. The time machine is no help since we need to know where Sly was for that to work. I get discouraged sometimes, but I'll never give up. 
because I know Sly's out there, and I know that wherever he is, we will find him. Real Ichi Cooper continued to refine his master ninja techniques as well as his sushi. And while his thefts were never detected, his sushi restaurant was recognized as the finest in Japan. El Jefe remains behind bars. He was transferred to a South American prison, where he now works rolling cigars. Unfortunately for him, there's no smoking allowed. Tennessee Kid Cooper recovered his gold and his place in history as the greatest outlaw of the Old West. His legend grew even bigger when he began stealing from crooked lawmen exclusively. Toothpick was arrested and became part of a chain gang working on the railroads. He eventually went deaf and faded into obscurity. <laughs> Cave Van Cooper kept up his physical training and returned to his role as egg thief extraordinaire. Perhaps most importantly, he pioneered the use of his cane as a tool for thieving. The Grizz received a lengthy prison sentence and began a new career as a rap artist. In his spare time, he paints portraits of his fellow inmates. Sir Galleth Cooper returned to his heroic adventures and went on to form the Knights of the Cooper Order, a gallant group that stole from corrupt nobility. He also became a successful, if overly dramatic, actor. Penelope was sent to Europe's highest security prison, where she promptly escaped. She remains at large, and the police have no clue as to her whereabouts. Recently, however, I've been receiving mysterious postcards. Salim al Kupar finally retired from thieving and took a long nap. Then he dreamed up a lucrative new business. Parking his camel around town, he sold snacks to hungry customers. It was highly successful. <laughs> After being locked up, Miss Decibel decided to make some changes. She had the horn removed from her trunk, enrolled in anger management classes, and began teaching music to other prisoners. With continued good behavior, she might get an early parole. Dimitri returned to his globe-trotting ways as a celebrity scuba diver and even launched a new line of fashion wear. He's so successful, there's a new reality TV show chronicling his adventures. It's called Disco Diver. La Paradox had all his assets seized, including his art collection. 
and everything was donated to the city of Paris. I'm told his cell was modified to be completely odor-proof. I suppose that's good for the guards, since he's going to be living there for a very long time. And thus, uh, thus Sly 4 ends with a cliffhanger, folks. Yeah. When did this game come out? 2013? And what? And by the time I'm recording this, this is 20, 2021? Yeah, I don't think we're going to get an end to that. Uh, I don't think we're going to get a solution to that unless unless they made like a... Um, like, uh, let me see if it'll let me go back to an old file and play as the characters. Um... Unless, unless, unless it's done in comic book form, maybe the movie was supposed to do something for it. But yeah, I don't. I think if I remember correctly, this game did okay in sales, but not nowhere near as like the previous entries into the game. I think it's because it wasn't being done by the same company, so a lot of people kind of uh, um, kind of wrote this game off for the most part. And my feelings on the game are: I think it's still okay, except um, actually, let me go back to a different time so I can show off those outfits. Uh, we'll just go to like I don't know like uh, yeah see we got all the collectibles and everything let's just go to like uh, yeah 40 Thieves era and I still I think I do like the game the thing is there's little touches here and there that makes it not as good as the previous ones if I had to vote this game overall I think it's I think it's my least favorite all of all of them and that's kind of being a bit harsh to it even though it's it's not a bad game and the people did design a game well enough I mean it had the platform and the sneaking it had the characters and everything like that but there's just something missing about it. It's, a, it's like a lot of little details, if that makes sense. Like, I, I think the story was interesting. The idea of, I mean, we've seen it before. I time, eventually, usually when a series gets to a point, it gets to like a time period type of thing. Like when you start jumping the shark, per se. And I was like, yeah, it, it should have. And this game has like super science fi fiction tech anyway with like Bentley. So why not time period? But I don't know. Maybe the, I, I thought maybe the idea, okay, let's show off the... Yeah, see, she's got kind of like a... I don't know if I can really get the camera on her really well or not. Kind of looks like a... Like that, I forgot what her name is. Someone from SWAT Cats or whatever. Very nice outfit for you guys who like that stuff out there. So, then we'll show up uh, Bentley and uh, Murray's. But yeah, I, th I feel like maybe there should have been a little bit more done with the ancestors. I don't know, like... Like, maybe a few more missions involving them, or maybe they're having a bit more of an interactivity with the final mission. Like, Tennessee helps, like, save Sly at that last little bit by shooting him. I mean, more stuff like that, for example, that they had a, like, other than getting the canes, obviously, but they did, like, one more thing to stop with Paradox and get you, uh, get, um, Sly the win or something like that. And, and yeah, the, uh, the ending where you fight with Paradox and all, all, all that is is a QTE. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like all the other bosses in the game had some QT elements in it, but you still got to run around, you know, attack them and dodge attacks and everything. And this, it was just press the QTE, otherwise you have to redo the whole fight. So that was kind of anticlimactic. That's what I was saying in, earlier. I was like, it doesn't seem as big like when you fought like some of the other bosses from the previous game. Uh, almost like a, kind of looks like a, I think he is actually Judge Dredd. Can't really get a good camera look on him. Yeah, I think he is Judge Dredd. Huh. I am the law! Uh, and then we'll get Murray. Um, yeah, sorry if I say I'm Alana, just trying to piece my words together. Yeah, the the final final fight was kind of anticlimactic, even though it was a blimp you know, blowing up and stuff was getting sucked into the time hole and whatever, but I don't know, it felt like it, it just felt a little lackluster for me to, for some reason. And then obviously the twist that Sly is now stuck in ancient Egypt and they're going to have to like figure out um, how to rescue Sly, but like I said, since since um, 
that was well, at least by this time eight years, seven eight years ago. I don't think we're ever going to get a solution to that. I don't even know what Sands River Games is doing. I don't know what they're working on or if they're still even a company um, that's uh, working on stuff these days. I guess I could have looked that up before this, but I wasn't even thinking about it at the time. But um, And I doubt Sucker Punch. Right now, Sucker Punch is working on... They did the Ghost... Uh, as of the time of this recording, they did the Ghost of Tsushima or whatever, and I doubt we're going to see them get, go back to anything like, a, like Sly because they handed off the license to Sony at this point. And I don't know if Sony's ever going to do anything more or Sly other than having him reappear in like um, as bit cameos in other games or whatever. So yeah, uh, Murray's just like a diver or whatever. Um, I thought the music in the game was still good. And like I said, the platforming worked for the most part, except for a few instances where there was like sometimes uh, when when you do the whole spiral jump or whatever, sometimes it won't connect every once in a while. So I don't know if that was just an issue with the coding or maybe, maybe my controller is bad. I don't know. I can't really blame that on the game specifically. It just felt like that I had more issues with that than the previous games combined. Um, I mean, I like the fact that the game did have all the different collectibles you get, like the treasure, and there was like some history behind all of them, for example, and the arcade machine was a nice little touch, being able to play the mini games for those who want to do that. And the table tennis, even though that gets boring a little quickly unless you're playing with another actual person. Um, and I like the fact you can play as other characters, kind of like in the previous game. The only problem is, like, Carmelita, for example, she almost never, like, as soon as you get her on her team permanently, she has, like, like one or two missions, and that's it? It's like, well, what was the point of that, then? Um, same with the Ancestors. I feel like they only had, like, a couple missions, and it, then it was just mainly Sly and the three, which, I mean, it makes sense of the main characters, but I felt like that was a little underused. And obviously, if they made too many missions, the game would have been too long, because the game, I think, is about the same length as the previous ones. And the previous Sly Coopers were pretty quick games, you know, beat under 10 hours, even less than that if you know what you're doing. Um, so, you know, the, the time was fine. It's just, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like it was just wasn't enough. Maybe it's because it wasn't about the same studio, and so they were just trying to work with it, what they got. And I felt they did a, a decent job. I mean, my really only major complaint with this game overall, if I really had to have a, a, an actual major complaint, would probably be the Penelope storyline where she betrays the group. I feel like... I'm not opposed of Penelope being a, a traitor to the group at all. That's not the thing. It's just the motivation seemed a bit weak for what it was for being someone who's supposed to be a love interest to Bentley and being uh, his intellectual equal. Yet, like, she falls just as easily as any of the other villains of the game. You know, she just, like, they figure out her plan to beat her. It's not like in, like, Sly Cooper 3 where, uh, um, uh, oh, what was his name again? Sun, uh, Sun Tzu or whatever the 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 guy the the chicken dude you know he uh he uh, uh freaking outsmarts the group halfway through and finds the base stuff like that um i think that happened also in the second game too where there was a one time where the villain actually ends up finding their base and stopping their plans at least for a while until they get back up on trial but that never happened with penelope you think her knowing the group she would have there would have been a major scene where maybe she ends up like sabotaging bentley's plans or or the machine or whatever. Nope, she falls just as easily as anyone else. And she's like, oh, I never stopped him. Oh, they, they beat me. I'm like, well, okay, I, I mean, we want her to get beaten. But, you know, like, it was just too easy. I don't know. It just it felt like there wasn't, for what her character was, there should have been something more to it. And then with Paradox being one of the weakest villains out of all of it, and you think with a guy who could control time or found out how he controlled time and how, uh, how he's supposed to be kind of, he's supposed to be from a long line of, of thieves just like the coopers there there's like some really good ideas behind that just uh that could have been like a whole weird interesting story altogether you know just someone who has the same abilities as sly maybe slightly altered but that really kind of goes nowhere too because then we just fight everyone else would it have been more interesting if we fought in like ancestors of paradox instead of uh, like all the other characters we run across not that i don't hate any of the characters it's just would have been more interesting if during the uh, the uh, you know Wild West era, we fought like whoever Paradox's version of the Wild West character was. You know how he convinced all his ancestors to go against uh, to defeat the Coopers. Maybe they had like a, a like a lifelong grudge that was never really brought about because Sly Sly's dad was killed before Sly was told that history. So that could have made that surprise make more sense. Because then you're like, oh, well, yeah, his dad died so early that he never told him about this lifelong, like, rivalry with the Paradoxes or something like that. But, no, it just kind of just it happens and that's it. 
like I said, there's just so many good ideas here, but they never get implemented very well. And, uh, well, I'm, like I said, it's not a bad game. It's just there's so much potential here, I think. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm being overly critical for this because of, like, what, what it is in the franchise, a game made by not the original company anymore, so it, it gets a bit more critical than, uh, than, than if it was made by Sucker Punch. Although I probably would, maybe I would be more critical if, if I got this product from Sucker Punch than Sanzaru Games or whatever. But, uh, well, either way, I'm, I hope I haven't griped too much for you folks and uh, listened through all this. So, like I said, I think the game's still good, but yeah, it's my least favorite out of all of them just because of all the little nitpicks I gripe. If I had to rank the series overall, I'd probably go 2, 3, 1, and 4 if I had to rank them uh, from best to worst. Uh, but that's just me personally. Um, whatever you guys thought, I hope... Uh, Hope you enjoyed my playthrough of the series and this franchise. As far as I know, I haven't heard anyone... I haven't heard of there being a Sly 5 or anything like that. Um, and as far as I'm aware of, uh, Sony Entertainment is not interested in any uh, sequel to this, as of right now, anyway. Because, like, I think the people who make the games are onto their own project at this point. So, yeah, if you ever want to see Sly Cooper in the game again, it's only going to be through cameos or references and other franchises. And it's kind of sad to see this, but... You know, platformers aren't as popular as they used to be, so, you know, we're not going to... It's more about either shooters or pay-to-win or something like that, so it's definitely the end of an era, at least in AAA gaming. They're still around in, like, indie games, but, yeah, we'll never... A lot of these franchises we'll never really see again, and, well, just enjoy what we got uh, from these games along the way, and, uh, and uh, you know, we always have them to play and you know, download forever, so... Anyway, yeah, I, I think this franchise, uh, overall, I, I enjoyed playing through these games all the year, recording them, adding them to my channel, and then, you know, adding it to history, uh, even though I didn't do a very good job with... I feel like I could have recorded this series a lot better overall, just, like, you know, had episodes, uh, like, like, layered better and everything like that, but I guess, you know, who's your, be who's your own critic but yourself, you know, so... But, uh, yeah, I hope, uh, for those of you who watched all the series, I hope you enjoyed... Uh, uh, seeing them, maybe it convinced you to play the games yourselves, or at least not, it gave you, got to see like an era of games, the late 90s, early 2000s era of games that has sadly changed, but that's just, well, it's like getting old, so anyway, I'll stop you up and now and finish this thing, so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time, folks.